So make sure you find the clavicle and the scapula and then define the borders of where the AC joint is. When you find the AC joint itself, then you can fix the clavicle and see if you can find that curve that the AC joint has as you're moving it anterior, posterior. You can also bring the shoulder up to feel the curve change and bring it down. So you're just seeing and palpating over the AC joint as you protract and elevate and depress and retract. If you get to that front corner and you go down about 45 degrees, especially if the patient's hand is behind their back, you're going to get right onto where the supraspinatus is. So when you, if you're doing frictions and when you're palpating it, that will expose the supraspinatus and that's where you'll feel it. If you go a finger breadth down from that, you're going to get to, to infraspinatus as well, but that will feel in prone. If we go up to the clavicle and we go one finger breadth down, you're going to find that coracoid process and that's where pec minor is. And remember, pec minor comes at that angle to attach to the ribs anteriorly. So we'll show some stretching and some lengthening of pec minor as well. If we go just lateral to the coracoid process, you're going to find that bicipital groove area where long head of the biceps is. And you can have your lab partner push up and feel that long head of the biceps. Remember, the long head of the biceps will attach onto the back part and the superior part of the glenoid. So if somebody has a slap issue, we'll do some resisted biceps in order to see if that increases patient's discomfort or not. You always want to look at the contour of the deltoid as well, just in case they could have a C5 problem or axillary nerve problem, but that would be obvious and they would have a cluster of symptoms that would be appropriate for that. And if you abduct the arm and find pec major, you're going to have it insert into that groove right onto the, where a PLT is, right? Pec major, lat, teres. I can have you uh, push into me here, good. And then you can feel the muscles contract. You can push down into me, good. And push into my hand this way, like you're adducting. So resist the different muscles to see if you can feel it as it goes into the armpit there. From the coracoid process up to that clavicle, that finger breadth, breadth that's where you have uh, some of the, the, the coracoclavicular uh, ligaments. That's where they reside as well. And we'll show you some tr stress tests for those. Coracobrachialis also inserts in this area. If we have them lay on his stomach, we'll find the spine of the scapula. And that's where we know supraspinatus is. But you'll also be able to find infraspinatus and follow it up into that spot right there. And then one finger breadth down, that's where you'll find teres minor. So that's when you're looking at different muscles or different, like we did in the elbow, tenoperiosteal versus tenomuscular. The big thing here too is just palpating the contour and seeing if there's any atrophy in any of these different spots to see if, if there's pain provocation or it looks like somebody is shut down in that area. You have an older person who may have a rotator cuff tear. If that muscle's sh shut down and they have a massive tear, there's not a ton that therapy is going to do. And there's a narrow window of time where the orthopedic surgeon is going to be able to help them as well.